We were anticipating the earliest docking today for 11.15 a.m. Central Time, but uh, with that call, we will not be making this first docking window. The second of those windows opens at 12.33 p.m. Central Time. As most space flight enthusiasts are probably aware, yet another drama is playing out in orbit over our heads at this very moment. Even though we had a textbook launch of Starliner and Atlas V, delivering the spacecraft into precisely the right trajectory and Starliner's primary engines working perfectly to get the spacecraft into the proper trajectory and orbital approach to the International Space Station, that's when things started to go wrong again. Even though we had some helium leaks at first, this was not regarded as being a serious problem, even though two more manifested themselves after the launch and then five aft thrusters on the Starliner service module malfunctioned. And that was after flight controllers found workarounds for these two new helium leaks on the spacecraft on top of the one that it already had. So they already had workarounds for the problems they had discovered, and yet still five thrusters malfunctioned. Also, the cooling system was using more water than expected, and another helium leak would be detected later on after Star Starliner docked with the space station. So yet another helium leak. It is so gratifying, so reassuring to see that these astronauts safely arrived on the ISS. They really are putting on a brave face and trying to project the image of astronauts who are never concerned about their safety. But I'll tell you, I'm not buying it. These are astronauts, or at least SUNY is an astronaut, who is very reassured to be safely aboard the ISS after a troubled flight. They weren't able to dock on Thursday as they were supposed to. They did eventually find a solution to their problems and successfully docked. Again, a testament to these two astronauts' skill. But now they're on the ISS, and they're going to have to fly this damn thing back home. Well, they don't have to, to be precise. They could take an alternative spacecraft back home. They could send a rescue ship, a Soyuz perhaps, or another Crew Dragon, something to take them back to Earth without risking themselves on this glitchy spacecraft. But after watching the tour that these two astronauts gave of Starliner, it is very clear that they are 100% confident in the spacecraft, or at least they say they are, and they're going to pilot it back home. Boeing Starliner program manager Mark Nappy told reporters this in a press conference on Thursday evening, quote, We have two problems on this vehicle right now, the helium leak and figuring out how to fine-tune these thrusters so they're not selected off. Those are pretty small, really, issues to deal with, and we'll figure them out before the next mission. I am not so confident, I'll tell you, because they are going to need some very precise and very very reliable thruster functionality for Starliner if they are to re-enter the atmosphere precisely right. Go in too steep and they will burn up their heat shield and burn up the spacecraft in the process. Go in too shallow and they will skip off the atmosphere and make an uncontrolled re-entry which will have the same consequences. It will just take a little bit longer for the astronauts to meet their fate. We don't need either of those scenarios and i have to say i am just not terribly happy that these thrusters continue to malfunction after two years of work because the thrusters were having problems with the last test these thrusters should be absolutely perfect right now should have no issues whatsoever and we shouldn't have to be relying on redundancy at all and yet that is what's happening right now and i have to admit i am a bit worried for the future of these astronauts they're brave people they're the best professionals to have in this situation but nevertheless i'm still worried We'll keep you up to date on the situation. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and please subscribe. And as always, stay angry about space.